Hey, what's up you guys? This is Los from the Big Retro Show and if you're here it's because you're having problems with your EOS webcam utility that just came out. Now you want to use your Canon camera to do your Zoom meetings or your OBS live streaming and this app is really useful for that. But for some reason or the other it's not showing up. There's no picture, it's black, you get some funky stuff happening. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first I'm going to I'm going to illustrate the problem to you so that you can see what's going on. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn on my Canon, my Canon uh, webcam, my Canon DSLR, I should say. And as you can see right away, the EOS utility launches. It, I am using an EOS Rebel T7i, but you could be using any any one of the uh, compatible EOS uh, cameras that Canon makes. So. What you see is here is the uh, Canon utility, and you can see that it's it's running. And now this is just how I have mine set up. Whenever I plug my camera into my computer, this thing launches. So now I want to use my uh, Canon camera as a webcam, and I've already downloaded the pro the I've already downloaded the program. So I'm going to go ahead and add it. Try to add it to uh, the scene here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my video capture device. We're going to call it. Uh, Canon EOS webcam and uh, let's see here you're probably seeing no signal and that's just because I need to choose it okay, so I've chosen my I went ahead and chose my EOS webcam utility and as you can see uh, here it is but there's nothing there you know there's supposed to be a webcam feed from my Canon coming into that I've downloaded the program and I don't know what's going on well the problem is that the EOS utility you see it here is hogging the camera right now so the webcam utility that Canon just put out can't use it while EOS utility is running. So it's a really easy fix. What you do is you first you quit out of here. So I'm going to quit out of there. And then I'm going to go down to my system tray. I'm going to find the EOS utility, which is right there. I'm going to right click on it. I get some menu options here. I can open, which is, you know, we don't want that. I can uh, click on Start EOS Utility automatically when the camera is connected. So that's just how I have it set up. That's how I like it set up. But um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, choose Do Not Launch EOS Utility Automatically when the camera is connected. Okay. So I just chosen that. It went away. Don't panic. All you do is go back down to the system tray right here. So click on the arrow. And then you'll find the EOS utility icon. You right click on it. And then you quit it because you see the program is still running. It's still running and uh, it's still using that valuable Canon camera as its resource. So once I hit quit, you can see now that the Canon camera is now my webcam. Yeah, I have freed up the camera. Uh, to OBS so that it can use it as a webcam and I did that by disabling the EOS utility. Uh, now that you have the solution to this to this issue you can use it for your zoom meetings uh, you could use it for your for your streams you could use it for you know anything you want to use it for. Just make sure that when you're running this uh, you know when you want to use your camera as a webcam, do not have the EOS utility running. You know, uh, close it from your system tray, and if you want, you can even disable it from starting when you plug your camera in. And that is it, guys. I hope this was helpful for you, and if it was, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and do not forget to subscribe to The Big Retro Show. Peace.